Hey guys, I'm going to jam uh, some long episodes that we've done before about headstocks and necks and jam them all together into a short little episode. Um, but we're just going to glue up a headstock onto a neck because we got to blow out a guitar pretty quick. And in this episode, I'm going to go through the basics very quickly. This is something you can do in an evening and be ready to glue on the fingerboard the next morning. And then, of course, once you get that cut down and everything like that, then um, you fret it. And, and this is how you blow stuff out pretty quick, provided you got the right jigs and stuff. I'm going to give you links to previous episodes. And when you see an iCard pop up, know that it's there and at the end of the episode you can click on those and see the whole episode if you care to do that but one more time we're going to put a headstock on a neck board really quick let's hit the bench almost forgot to tell you we're not hitting the bench we never do uh don't forget to give me a like subscribe you click the notify button you get all my videos music shout out black keys i'll give you a link below now let's go okay guys we are going to put a, a headstock onto a neck board really quick here. We're starting off with a piece of oak. It is three and a half inches or 90 uh, millimeters, just under 90 millimeters. We're going to cut a 45 here. And then we're going to take our typical 40 millimeter wide neck board that comes in a standard length of four feet you see that it comes out of an American hardware store and we are going to cut a 45 on the end of each of these boards to make a scarf joint okay remember the scarf joint jig episode I'll give you a link right about there right about now anyway there's this little lip here um, it's got a board here cut at a 15 degree angle and mounted here and this just sits you see there's a lip here it sits there and I spin this around and mount this down hold it down like this because we don't want to kick back you could also use a clamp like this somewhere here but I'm going to put this clamp down here so I can put the wood that I'm going to cut the first thing I'm going to do so I want to make sure that this headstock board is at least as long as my template but I'm going to start by cutting the end of that off now you see where this lines up here this needs to be a little bit past there so I'm going to put it there like so I'm going to clamp this down I'm going to watch this blade come down like so but we are going to cut a 15 degree angle here so I'm going to grab the back of this and I'm going to click this off so I can cut the sound in the next scene but let's cut through this Okay, there we go. Nice little 15 degree cut. We'll set that aside. And then we will take our neck board here. We will clamp it in the same way. Now, what I like about this little cart that I've got here is when I'm cutting long wood, I can rotate this around and make sure the stuff in the background get, isn't getting in the way. But you'll see here, I want to be past there. I put that there. I clamp that down like that. Hold it. There we go, another 15 degree angle. Now, since I want to be a very cleanly person, I'm going to take this stuff. I'm going to pick this up, get this off of here, like so. Spin that around and then oh you weren't you ain't ready for this I'm gonna take the world's smallest blower and clean up my work area Ooh, look at that do not covet the world's smallest blower we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this on it and we will have a scarf joint see that angle Let's hit the bench. Now before I get going on the bench, what I'm going to want to do is I want to take this edge right here. It looks a little bit rough. 
put on the belt sander. Get it nice and straight. Look at that. Okay guys, we have the end of the neck board and the edge of the headstock. Now I've taken my trusty Paul Miro Junk Pal guitar tape measure and I've measured the center of the headstock board. So it's 88 millimeters, 44 to the middle. I'm going to take any straight edge and I'm going to put it there like so and run it from here to here like so. I'm going to take my trusty Delta Grooves guitars neck template, headstock template. Love you Darren Dukes. I'm going to put that edge right there right there and then this part right here I'm going to line up on my center mark again making sure that this edge is there and I am going to make a mark up here where the center is. I'll take my trusty square try to adjust it before I film, but whatever. And that is going to be about right there. I'm going to take this back to the chop saw now and cut this flat with no angle. There we go. Look at that. It's about that long. Now I'm going to move this out of the way, that neck board, and I'm going to put it's lanky, it's lanky, a wonderful magical toy whatever else they said for the rest of that in 1963. Anyway, that's going to be there. I'm going to take my pencil. Now I did something called Headstocks 101. And it showed you how to make a template for a headstock out of just about anything you wanted. I'll give you a link to that episode right above there right about now. But this is a rehash. And we're going to put this in to a video of the guitar we're making. Okay. So I'm just tracing this out like this, making sure that I can see everything. Because I'm going to take this over the scroll saw now. Now what I don't want to do is I don't want to glue this on to this like so. And then try to cut it later. Because... Who wants a four foot board behind you when you're trying to use it on a scroll saw? So I'm going to take this as a scroll saw right now and get this cut out. Okay, this is rough cut out. You can still see the lines. You've seen me do this before. I'm going to take this on the belt sander and use the radius of the belt to my advantage and make it fit there. Okay, remember our template for a three string to lay the strings out, string spacing, or just to find the middle? We need that right now because I'm going to make a mark here in the middle, here in the middle. And we're going to turn this over. Clumsy pencil day. Here in the middle, here in the middle. And then I'm going to take my straight edge. I want to make sure that those marks are connected like so. And like so, because we're going to do the same thing here on both sides. We're going to take our template, we're going to put it there. 
turn it over and eyeball this. Now, you'll notice that this is a little bit wider than the template. Can you see that? Yeah, because this is going to be ground down once everything comes together. So now what we want to do is we want to put this where it matches that line right there. And then we're going to clamp this up and I'll show you what that looks like when we get that done. Now you know I dowel my necks with these little dowels before I glue everything up. It stops everything from slipping. And instead of separating when we glue two different kinds of wood glued along the same plane, this gives a perpendicular stop to the force there. So again, I'm going to take this three string template. I'm going to come up a little bit onto where this is clamped together. It's nice and smooth right here. I know that's not the best camera angle. And I'm going to find the middle and I'm going to put my first hole right there. Okay, again I'm going to use a bit that's about the same size as my dowel. Um, and I am going to, I always forget this until it's too late. I don't want that bit skipping around. So I'm going to put the block of wood right there. I'm going to take my awl where I want to start the hole, tap it a little bit, make sure nothing slips there, and then hold this tightly because I don't want to slip it off. That's what we don't want when we drill through. There we go. First hole done. Now if I put that in there like so, get that in there. I'm not going to glue it yet. But this allows me to relax this clamp, get things straightened up like so. And then I can put one there and another one there. And then I'll drill those two holes up there. Got the template in the right spot. I'll make a mark there and there. It's going to give me my triangular pattern there and there. Move this back a little bit. And find my trusty all and make me my starter holes right there. This four foot piece of wood is a little bit difficult to work with. Now I'm going to drill these two out for the dowels there. All right, there we go. I'm going to get a couple dowels cut. And I'm going to glue this up. We're going to leave this sit overnight. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of our tight bond. We're going to put it, we're going to make sure some of it goes down in the hole there, right? Smear it around a little bit. We're not going to be shy. It's going to go on the underside of this, like so. I'm going to pull the sticker back a little bit. And then, I'm just going to take these little pieces of pegs that I have. I'm going to put this one in here because I can use it as a guide. Once that first one's in, we're good. I just want to make sure that it's sticking out top and bottom like that. And then when I rotate this around, it's going to help me find the other two holes like this. Again, I can wiggle it and work them down. I think, like so. I'll take my little okay. So see everything goes through, everything's lined up good. Now I'm gonna clamp this up and we will let lead, lead, blah, 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 blah. rented lips leave it sit overnight. Isn't that exciting me? watching me put clamps on things and then we'll get one more by the way I really like these clamps that you can do this with and we'll just bingo there you go see you in the morning all right guys good morning let's get these clamps off of here and uh, have a look Oh, yeah, there we go. Now, I'm going to take this to the belt sander and make sure this radius matches here. I'll tie this into here and over here. But I do like the shape of the headstock. It turned out um, good. We want to remember that this is for... There went my green marble. Oh, boy. 
life is not good now. Anyway, this is for the VHS Fall Festival um, raffle or silent auction, whatever the mommies are going to do with it. Um, so we're going to end up matching the color of the neck and headstock. I'll put a graphic up here and we'll figure out what that is. But uh, my next move is just to cut these dowels off like so. Flip it over, do the same thing over here. Now normally I would color these or have a contrast or something. We're going to put a piece of relic wood down in the neck and a buffalo nickel or something. But anyway, next move is to the belt sander, but it's just that easy. All right, guys, wasn't that easy? There it is. Um, next part is to put the fingerboard on. I'll glue that on. Got a little bit of work to do on the belt sander. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Our camera person, Kendra, has some another one of her profound uh, statements to make. Go ahead. Feel free to interrupt me at all. I go through all these production costs, but yeah, please go ahead. If the headstock's made of wood, does that mean it's a wood stock? Dude, hippie, take a hike, get back on the camera work. Anyway, guys, it's that simple. <laughs> Please. Anyway, I'm done. I can't even deal with that. Cut it. Cut it.